Hello and welcome back to Serials, the PNN webcast series that chronicles your stories. Today we're talking to John Halstead, first-time author. He has just written a book called Legend of the Last Viking, Taklamakan, and he's going to tell us today about his process writing the book and a little bit about Vikings, too. So here he is. Hi, my name is John Halstead. I am author of Legend of the Last Vikings, which has a subtitle called Taklamakan, which is where the main part of the book occurs. It, it has uh, a group of Vikings going on a, a journey through Central Asia, but it isn't about the Vikings per se. It's more about the, the, the journey. And um, as most people know that the famous Battle of 1066 in England and saw the end of the Viking Age and uh, after that we don't hear much about the Vikings at all and so I got to wondering and I researched uh, Vikings and I found out there were these Vikings who were traveling into Central Europe and Central Asia using the river systems which I found quite fascinating and uh, I even found mention of Vikings getting onto the Silk Route and uh, uh, the, the Arabs actually recorded a, a bit about the Vikings speaking up to nine languages, which is not what Hollywood tells us. I mean, they were all barbarians beating each other up. And, uh, and so I, I just got to researching that. And as I researched, I got further and further and further along the Silk Route uh, until I got into the Taklamakan Desert, which is Western China. And I found a whole vast uh, diaspora of cultures and peoples that I, that I just found fascinating. And... Um, I tried putting a textbook together on this, and it was very dry and uninteresting. So I thought, well, what happens if some Vikings had to have an adventure along this route? Uh, what would it look like? And I ended up with the book. I would uh, do all my research on the train at night, uh, on, on, on the, at home at night on the internet, and I was taking the train to and from work an hour each way, uh, and so I'd write the next chapter to and from work each day. Well, my... my Day job is a, uh, a program manager for organizational improvement and, and performance improvement. So I'm quite used to writing large documents proposing uh, ways that companies should improve their performance. Uh, and so that wasn't new to me and doing the research wasn't new to me either. Uh, and so I was doing that as a day job and I just come off doing a master's degree. And uh, if anyone's done a master's degree, they know that for two years, all you do is read and write and read and write and read and write and read and write. And, read and, write, and then all of a sudden you stop. And I'd got to the point where I'd stopped and I needed something to keep my brain going. Because it's historical fiction, a lot of people are straight away put off by the word history. They think it's going to be dry and boring. And uh, I was taking it around to the guys and they were saying, oh no, you've got to cut this and out. And at the time, uh, the, the war in Afghanistan was at its peak. And a lot of guys were saying to me, no, because you've got um, Christians, Jews and Muslims working together, we want to change that a bit and have a more of a contentious relationship. Can you change the book? And I was saying, no, sorry, that, that's not a deal at all. Um, it, it didn't work like that at that point in history. So I'm not going to change it now. Uh, they were looking for an angle to market the book. And so, you know, marketing it on the basis of people working together and living in harmony doesn't do too well, but having a bit of a contentious relationship, and there does, apparently. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I took it around publishers for two years, and I was about to self-publish when I met my current publisher, and uh, they took it on board from me. I, I've, I've got the... Um, the layout for the second one already done, and it's going to be the same characters walking through the, the next period of history, uh, but in a, on a different continent. And that's all I'm saying at the moment.